because we offer lots of other things. We've got the gallery space and the studio space and the cafe in the shop. We just felt that bringing people from outside here and um, introducing them to what we do here, um, forming some like informal networks and collaborations was something that we really wanted to do. I think that one of the main things that we want is to um, increase the awareness of the fish factory but it's not just the fish factory it's increase the awareness of contemporary art within Cornwall and the fact that there are people making really exciting work. Amy, our, uh, one of our studio members, she makes um, puppets and costumes and things like that it's really you know it's just like there's people making a really really wide range of stuff and I think that it's to show that we're not just one thing and um, by getting people from other parts of the world to come here and they initially will come with some preconceived ideas of what Cornwall is and it's been really interesting seeing applications of what people are putting in their application of like how they're viewing Cornwall and how, how they think it will be and so we kind of want to shake that up a little bit and initially it was really one of the things that we wanted to do was a lot of residences they expect an outcome from you they expect you to create a, f a finished body of work or something and for us it was as much about bringing people to Cornwall and introducing them to the art scene showing them what Cornwall's like as it was to saying you come here and you spend a month or two months or three months which is what some residences are and produce this amazing exhibition at the end we wanted to just say to people come here spend some time and do what you want but we are really lucky we've got a great relationship with um, Marcus who runs the art house which is an Airbnb place in Falmouth it's an absolutely beautiful building and um, he's been really really generous with the support he's given us he's supported the fish factory for a long time um, and he's allowing us to um, have preferential rates really um, for our artists to stay there. Um, one of the things he does ask for is for artists to leave a piece of work behind. So the um, the place is actually full of artwork and it's it's really, really lovely. So we're really grateful to him for that. We've got places like Back Lane West and CMR and um, Red Roof that we can, we've got like associations with. So it's kind of like, we want to in some ways sort of form a kind of a, a loose network with these people and you've got like the Tate and places like that and that's really important to Cornwall but there's all these people plugging away doing really interesting projects and that's the kind of network we want to introduce people to. So I'd, I'd encourage people to come here because what we're offering is, is quite unique. I think the collaborative nature of the place, the fact that the artist, uh, the residency spaces are um, in our open plan area. Uh, so the practical things that we offer are, we give you a, a desk space in our um, open plan area. So it's, um, it's not a massive space, but it's um, yours for the duration. You can, um, it has, you know, plug sockets, Wi-Fi, you've got a desk, storage space, chair, so like all the basics. Um, but then we also have, we have some um, print facilities that you can use. So it's um, largely based around screen printing at the moment, but we um, can do mono printing. We have got a risograph printer, which we're trying to get up and running. Um, and then we have a dark room, so you can do black and white printing. There are obviously certain parameters and constraints that we have because of time and our facilities and things like that. We're looking for applications from people in any art form um, from anywhere. So even though it's an international residency, if someone applied from Penryn or, or Falmouth, we'd still consider them. I think, I think it being contemporary is, the, is one of the keys. When we put the call out for residencies, we often talk about people that are working in a socially engaged way, people that are political with a small p and activists and um, that's really, it's not just come, come to Cornwall and, and do some nice paintings, it's come here, engage with the community.